Hi guys. I'm finally back here with this book and it's been a, a real ordeal trying to get it done as most of you know that follow uh, the group page. Um, this started out as just a small book. I was going to do a little bit, uh, I'll do a small book just to fill in the gap and give me some breathing room so I could clean some carpets and do some things I hadn't done yet and this book just took on a life of its own and it has just devoured my life. But um, I had been wanting to do a great grandma book. You know, the other books were grandma or uh, supposedly done by a grandma back in 1942. And it was just kind of like a scrapbook thing where grandmas used to collect things back then. They probably, a lot of them still do now. I'm sure they do. I do. Um, but I wanted to do a book that belonged to grandma's grandma. A book that grandma found in 1942 that belonged to her grandma who lived back in the 1880s. So that's what I've done here, and uh, my goodness, what an ordeal it's been. And I've always wanted to put sticks on the book, on a book. I'm just a real nature person. I love to go plod through the woods and, and walk woodland paths and get rocks out of the creek, and uh, that's just my kind of thing. I'm not a mall shopper or none of that stuff. I just like real natural outdoorsy stuff, homemaking stuff. I'm a real recluse. But um, um, this is, it's finally done. It's huge. It is so big. I, I hope it'll go in the big box. I think it will. The one that the $14 box. Um, what we're going to do on this one, uh, several people have been kind of unhappy because um, I've sold the books before the uh, video ever aired <laughs> and uh, all the others. And um, so I thought this time, uh, and you know, we have to do that. I have to do that. I don't want to spend all this time on a book and then it not sell. So I will continue to do that. If somebody speaks up and wants it or wants first dibs on it, uh, that, that's okay. But I wanted to do one that anybody would get a chance on. So what we're going to do is take bids on just this one book because I have so much time in it. I really didn't know how much to put on the book. So anyway, this is Great Grandma. It was a scrapbook put together by Great Grandma in 1880. And she's called her book Things Your Grandma Knew by Heart. So Great Grandmas, uh, Grandmas and Great Grandmas in my day, uh, just, um, you know, they were just... Uh, uh, it was just a different era, so everything was different. But let's just start because my problem is I talk too much, and here I'm already telling stories. So let's take the book down. It is a very delicate book, as you can tell. Let's see, I hope we can even do this. It's, it's very big. Um, it's a very delicate book. It is very tattered and torn, just like if you would find Grandma, Great Grandma's book, that lived in 1880, you would have to take very good care of it because the papers would be uh, uh, crum crumbly from just age. You know how that th that goes. And so uh, you would have to take good care of it. So you're going to have to take good care of this, whoever gets it, if anybody does. And if they don't, that's fine because uh, my daughter has just absolutely had a fit about this book. And if it doesn't go anywhere, it's going to her house. So, um, things your grandma knew by heart. And then I've got the sticks in here. And if the sticks are too grungy of a look for whoever gets the book, I've got them to where you can slip them out or you can tie this just a little tighter to, to really secure them forever. Uh, the front is just, um, uh, it's just some old paper that is really, really distressed. Have some burlap, an old paper doily, a little fabric, uh, some creepy cloth and an old rose just off of a, a yardage from Hobby Lobby. And this says, be a lady, be curious, be kind, love with all your heart, count your blessings and not your blemishes. Be brave, be bold, be strong. And it goes on and on. If I read all of these things, we will never get done because um, there are so many quotes in here. Now I've got a, a rag missing here. In between all of these pages, I must have dropped it on the way out or I left it. I didn't put one there. In between all of these pages, there'll be just a little strip of cloth between all the pages. And I'll, I've got one for that. I've, I've dropped it somewhere. I'll find it and put it in here. Uh, that's because I wanted to secure these pages with uh, uh, these in, uh, reinforcers. And um, I didn't, don't want that to show, and I didn't want to paint it or do any of that, so I decided to put some old rags down through there, which is what Grandma would have done. She would make do with what she had. She wouldn't do anything fancy. So this one says, uh, some of these readings in here, um, I just wrote just for the book, and this is one of them. 
Um, I don't know how many there are in here now. I've lost count because I've spent so much time on the book. My brain is just scrambled. But um, this is grandma, great grandma wisdom from the 1880s to all those who came after her. And so she just got a little bit of advice here, and it says, and listen, child, oh, there's so much I want to tell you, but above all, remember love and kindness for every person you will ever meet has their own story. Every person you will ever meet has been through their own trials and tribulations, and trials and tribulations, they change us all in some way, whether that's for the good or for the bad. So above all else, show love and kindness and uh, show love and spread kindness from grandma with love. And then I've just got some little images here and some fabric, just uh, lots of layers on every page. And again, there is a strip that goes right down through there and it'll be in there. This says, uh, this is just, uh, just all kinds of fabric, layers of fabric. Here's some newspaper that's been distressed. Uh, uh, big button back in here. This says, blessed are those who see beautiful things in humble places where other people see nothing. Wow, wow, wow. This is one of the images I said I'll have some images in um, this book um, that are really from my stash from years and years and years ago. And this is a kindness elf. And he says, give thanks for everything. A grateful heart yields a harvest of, of acceptance. It's late in the day. I can't talk. Been up since three o'clock. So um, I never can talk. I talk too fast. Um, just some layers of fabric, just strips of fabric here and there, an old button, some net, um, some lace. Um, I love these Elf Help uh, books. Uh, I still have, I bet I have a hundred or more. I used to buy them 50 cents a piece and I'd buy them a hundred at a time. This was back in the 80s, I think, or 70s. I'm not sure. Um, and I would just give them away. I mean, there, there were so many different books and so many themes and stuff. So I would just buy a whole bunch of them and I'd put them in uh, uh, gift bags or just give them to anybody uh, here and there, just wherever. And uh, they're, they're, they all are just, uh, they carry such great messages. This says, Living Life. It's not a race, but indeed a journey. Be honest, work hard, be choosy. Say thank you, say I love you, and say great job to someone each day. Go to church and take time for prayer. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Let your handshake mean more than pen and paper. And it goes on and on. I just absolutely love stuff like this. This is, oh my gosh. Uh, and it's so true. This is so true. Everything in this book is just so true. You talk about words of wisdom. This book is just crammed with words of wisdom. Stay close to anything that makes you glad you are alive. Is that good advice or what? Stay close to anything that makes you glad you are alive. This is just a little image. It's maybe not that old. I found that on Pinterest, but I just fell in love with that little bird and um, you know, great grandma, if she'd run across that image, she would have put that image there too, because great grandmas um, and grandmas are just antique little girls. You know, they have hearts and loves and likes, and they like different things. I'm pulling this away, which reminds me to say, uh, this book was not made at Doubleday Book Company, book production company. <laughs> this was made in Grandma's Kitchen, and supposedly it was made in Great Grandma's Kitchen in 1880. So you may see just a little bit of glue. You may see something that looks like it wasn't tattered on purpose, but this is a homemade book, and that's what you're going to find. This is a tattered and torn and very worn, very loved, very used old book by Grandma. This says, love all, trust a few, and do wrong to none. Now, you can't get any better advice than that. Uh, simple formula, formula for living. Live beneath your means. Return everything you borrow. Stop blaming other people. Admit it when you make a mistake. Give clothes not worn to charity. Do something nice and try not to, to get... Um, Caught. <laughs> Do something nice and try not to get caught. Listen more. Talk less. I could use that advice. Every day, take a 30-minute walk. Strive for excellence, not perfection. Be on time and don't make excuses. And it goes on and on. I'd love to read all this stuff because I'm telling you, I love these kind of readings. I just absolutely love them. Believe. Love life. And then there's just fabric and just here and there, just layers of uh, whatever, paper, fabric, uh, tons of fabric in this book, tons of lace. In a world where you can be anything, just be kind.
There is nothing more truly artistic than to love people. Grace, there's a button. Uh, a safety pin with some buttons on it. Just some rags. This says, we're waiting for tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes. Our last breath is right up on our heels, yet we still refuse to run. 86,400 seconds, and we're in another day, all slipping through our fingers as we look the other way. Oh, my gosh, if that doesn't get your attention, and it just goes on and on and on. Got a flower up here. Uh, got a clothespin up here, flower down here, some rags, um, the little tuck between the pages. Wind on the hill. No one can tell me. Nobody knows where the wind comes from or where the wind goes. It's flying from somewhere. At last, as, as fast as can be, I couldn't keep up with it, nor not if I run. Uh, faith. Safety pin with some buttons on it. Time flies. Boy, it sure does. The busier you stay, the faster time flies. This has all things... Um, Beautiful. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful. The good Lord made them all. Each little flower that opens and each little bird that sings, he made their glowing colors. He made their tiny wings. And there's just a little picture of a rabbit. I, I've said before, I collect rabbits and I only do it at Easter time when uh, Hobby Lobby has those little vintage uh, bunny rabbits and I, I love those. I'm not into cutesy stuff, but I like anything that looks old, really looks old. So uh, I've used this one in a, a book or two before, but I love this reading. It says, do not grow old. That is foolish. Collect the reasons life gives you and file them under things I have learned. But do not ever let them aid you. And that's a, that's a very profound, I like things that are profound, things that make you stop and think, like this. This is a wonderful little quote. Now see, we've got the layered fabric. I forget to show the fabric and all that. Just some rope, a little piece of fabric, a button, some paper, uh, paper doily under that. Um, this says, if you want something to last forever, you treat it differently. You shield it and protect it and never abuse it. You don't expose it to the elements, and you don't make it common or ordinary. If it becomes tarnished, you polish it till it gleans like new. Again, <laughs> it becomes more and more special because you have made it so. It grows more beautiful and precious as time goes by. And that's so true. You know, that's with anything. That's with something you may have around the house, something you've bought, anything you've bought. But it also goes for relationships. And I'm big on... Uh, you know, putting relationships right at the top of the list, boy, family, uh, marital relationships, whatever. People are always wanting to know uh, why we have such a great relationship, uh, Geezer and I. And uh, it's because uh, we still do the things now after 52 years uh, married, and then uh, we'll be married 52 years pretty soon, but... And then we dated three years before that, but we still do all the little notes and silly things. He brings me pig nuts out of the woods when he goes hunting, and He'll find a stick that's shaped like a heart or a rock or whatever, and he brings me things like that. We just continue to do little things um, like that for each other, and we take time. We have a, a little sit-down chit-chat every day, and that's just a, that's part of our day, and we just sit and talk and gab about the price of wife, uh, rice in China, but it's, it's the spending the time and really paying attention to what each other does. And, um, you know, it's... it's uh, it's give and take all the way through. Give and take. Wouldn't take anything for the life I have. Uh, may your troubles be less and blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through your door. Mm, wow. You have brains in your head and you have feet in your shoes. You can steer your way any direction you choose. Now, that's a Dr. Seuss uh, quote, and I know he wasn't around probably, and I'm sure, in Grandma's day, so I need to put a little flower or something over Dr. Seuss's name because I want this whole book to be very authentic. Okay, now we're to the page. I love these little books. Just made them this morning. They came to me. I mean, just like, you know, this stuff just comes out of nowhere and I'm on it. I just let's put that back. But this is just, uh, I got to thinking, you know, Grandma would be tearing pictures out of uh, magazines or whatever they had back in 1880, and she would just be collecting all kinds of things, and she didn't have the um, material to put things together and uh, make anything fancy. She'd just tear them out and tie them with some twine or whatever, 
and uh, this is nothing fancy at all and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do some of these little books and just sell them for little tucks and gift bags and things at Christmas time um, because uh, this is something I wanted something that I can sell real cheap and this is something that I can sell real reasonable and uh, anybody can afford to even do uh, several or quite a few or however many you want to do because it won't be that much but it's just a little thing you know it just has quotes in there nothing is impossible the word itself says I'm possible uh, enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll look back and realize that they were the big things yes that's true um, this bouquet reminds me of, uh, you know, I think grandma and great grandma, especially in my day, loved flowers and this and that. Um, we have a huge garden in the summer and I have a huge, huge flower garden and I make what I call, um, uh, what is it? What is it called? <laughs> it's a bouquet. I call it grandma's bouquet and I just take it around and I just put it on porches, make huge big bouquets and take them around to grandma's that I've just heard about or somebody will send me their name or whatever and uh, um, put it on their porch and they'll find it when they go out. Maybe ring their doorbell and run. It's called old woman with a bouquet. So this, it, this reminded me of the bouquets that, uh, the way the bouquets look that I take around like that. Love to do that. I tried to do one a week in the summer. Didn't get to this summer, but, um, I love to do that. This is just some images, really. Grandma would have loved roses and, uh, let all that you do be done in love. Grandma would have liked any kind of flowers. So, um, that's what that is. I'm just going to put that back up here with a safety pin. Uh, I, these pages are so uneven uh, on purpose and so thick. Um, these, some of these little tucks, I had a hard time figuring out how to do them. Oh, what's this under here? Let's take a look. This says, this universe has a language that the world we live in uses, but it's not made of 26 letters. It's made of scars and bruises. It doesn't write its words on paper. It writes upon our skin so many dots and dashes that we can't tell where they begin, and then it just goes on and on. Um, and then this says love down here. I've got that scrunched up the way I've got it sitting down because it's so heavy I can't hold it and hold the camera at the same time. So um, uh, this is a... Uh, a little envelope. Let's see what we got here. Let's lay the envelope aside first and do the little readings. And I think I'm too close. I think I'm not doing this good at all because I think I'm too close. Okay, let's see. This is just a page. I didn't, I love that, uh, the way the page turned out. So I didn't put anything on it except the tucks. So let's see what this is. It says, beginning today, I will no longer worry about yesterday because the past is in the past and the past will never change. Only I can change by choosing to do so. Beginning today, I will no longer worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will always be out there waiting for me to make the most of it. And then it just goes on and on. Everything goes on and on. <laughs> and this is a, just a little note Grandma has put in her book. Um, for anybody that comes after her that finds it. And it says, Dear children who come after me, I want to tell you how to have a good and rewarding life. It really is true. Uh, we should do unto others as we would hope they would do unto us. None of this bickering and backstabbing because that will get you nowhere good in life. And I want you to go the distance with flying colors and on cloud nine. And that ability is available to most all of us. So stay true to thine own self. It's so much important, more important to be an encourager than a discourager. And don't be one who finds faults in everything or even most things. Don't criticize and don't judge. Well, it just goes on and on. Grandma, you know, like me, has a whole lot to say. So this says, but best of all, but above all else, be true and be you. Love, Grandma. So that, that will tuck here and that will tuck in front of that. And this envelope, if we can get it in here just has some little tucks in it. I love this envelope, love that fabric. Um, I got that at Hobby Lobby, I think. Um, just put some little patchwork on here. I love patchwork, love, love patchwork. Okay, this says, uh, this is wishes. And it says, if all we want were granted and every wish came true, you'd cut your neighbor's lawn for him and he'd do the same for you. And it just goes on and on about doing things for each other and how much better the world would be uh, if we did do uh, positive things instead of negative things. The most beautiful people wear their hearts on their sleeves and their souls 
in their smiles. I love that. Absolutely love that. And this says home. It takes a heap of living in a house to make it home, a heap of sun and shatter, and you sometimes have to roam before you really re appreciate the things you left behind and hunger for them somehow. And I'm all us on your, and I'm, they're always on your mind. It's a, it's a written in, and I didn't write that. I did write that big letter from Grandma or a big note from Grandma, but uh, uh, it's just really in that language there. So, and this says again, again, I live this day for the first time. I feel the possibility of this brand new sky again. And I make promises to the world and to myself that I will make the most of this moment again and again. I'm, and I'll make the same mistakes for the first time and I'll cry old tears and I'll smile new hopes. And I try and I laugh and I hurt and I pray for answers in the same old questions to the same old questions, ask again and again. And then that goes on and on. I could read every one of these from start to finish because this is just right down my alley. But we're going to try to move on. We are at 21 minutes, I think. And I don't even know if we're halfway through the book. This is a huge, huge book. Now, it's not like... Uh, you know, I see people, they'll say, my book is 150 pages, my book is 100 pages or 80 or whatever. I don't know how many pages are in this book. I, I think about 30, but I'm really not sure, 30 or 40. I really don't know. Uh, the thing about this book is that it is full of, uh, there is, now I've missed a piece of fabric right there too, but there is a piece of fabric for that page right there. I know what I did. I took it out because I put some little, uh, some new things in there and I didn't put those back. Uh, this is just a little tuck here. This is a paper sack. Just a paper sack. I just stained it. Uh, did we just read this a bit ago? It says, stay close to anything that makes you glad you are alive. It, if we did, it's okay. It's worth putting in there twice because that's a good <laughs> Um. Let's see. You're the trip I did not take. And you're the pearls I could not buy. You are my uh, blue Italian lake. And you are my piece of foreign sky. I've got that distressed to wear with my old tired eyes. Uh, it's hard to see it. This is just a little nursery rhyme. Uh, put that in there. I think Grandma, if Grandma ran across that, she would tear that out and keep it. And this is kind of, this reminded me of this little piggy went to market and this little piggy stayed home. But this is about frogs and it's just a little nursery rhyme from back in the day. This is just some uh, flowers in here for grandma. Today will never come up again. Be a blessing and be a friend and encourage someone and take time to care and let your words heal and not wound. Never reply when you're angry. Never make a promise when you're happy and never make a decision when you're sad. What good advice that is. Let's put these all back. And this goes up here in the little sack. Okay, now there's lots over here. Let's see what's over here. This. Oh, we'll read this first. It says, train your mind to see the good in everything. That's great advice, too. Train your mind to see the good in everything. This is a seed packet. I don't think I'm even going to take it off there. It's on with a paper clip, and it's clipped uh, shut with a paper clip, but it's um, mustard seed, and it's if you have the faith as uh, small as a mustard seed, nothing will be impossible for you. So I even put some mustard seed in that. I made the little packet, made the little envelope, put the front on with the mustard seed, and then I put some mustard seed inside. So let's see. This is another little book. Like Grandma would be just going through a magazine or newspaper or whatever and find some little things she wanted to keep. And she wouldn't have a way to make a fancy book like some of these books we make. So she would just cut them out and, and whatever and uh, put them together with some little twine. I think Grandma would have loved birds back in those days. Uh, I still love birds now. We sit and watch hummingbirds and squirrels and birds and stuff off of the porch all the time. Just some real vintagey. I tried to find really, really vintagey uh, looking images for that little book, but I love those little books. Let's see what we got here. And this is a calendar, a calendar from 1880. So if Grandma found that, she would have sure cut it out and put it in her scrapbook or hung it on her wall so she would have it when she needed it. This says, love is a curious thing. You can find it in the most unlikely of places. And that's just a, a long reading, and it tells you where all you can find love. 
Um, it depends on what's in your heart, where you find love, you know, you, <laughs> where you look for it. It's uh, kind of going to tell you where, what kind of love you're going to find, ever, happily ever after or fly by night. That's just some free advice from Grandma. I love to sit in silence, and I don't know if I put this in every book or not, but I love this because I love to sit in silence. And, and I just love this reading. I found it ages and ages ago, and it says, I love to sit in silence beneath the shady trees and listen to the song of birds and to the buzz of bees. I love to sit in silence and watch the clouds roll by, then read a book or sing a song and hear the wild birds cry. Um... And that goes on, too. I mean, I just, everything goes on. I just, this is just a little uh, nursery rhyme, The Wild and the Frolic. Um, it's just something Grandma, if she had run across it, she would have tore it out and put it in her scrapbook. Little verses for very little people. And they're readable. I'm not going to read everything because there is so much on there. Uh, this is the moon. Uh, I like to sit on our door sill. And watch the place above the hill get lighter every minute till the moon comes up all bright and still. It's talking about sitting and watching for the moon to come up. And uh, this is a little envelope. Um, I just made it out of newspaper. Uh, let's see what we got in here because I do not even remember. Okay, it says winter time. Winter lies. Uh, late lies. <laughs> the wintry sun abed. A frosty, fiery, sleepy head blinks but an hour or two, and then a blood red orange sets again. And it's just a, a, all of these readings, almost all of these readings, I, I tried to dig out readings that were just very, very old. And even a lot of them back in those days, they even talked differently. And so they're, they're written out differently. And um, I just love old stuff. You know, so many, so many people message me and say, how do you make your books look so old? Well, um, you know, there is, of course, a knack to it. But um, the main thing is I think you really have to have an old soul because you have to be able to come up with this. It's not making it look old. Uh, these things have got to come into your mind. And my mind is I'm going through some heart tests right now. And my doctor says... The problem was you, with you is you never sit down and, and be still. Your mind never stops. So we'll, we'll just look at this. It came, it came from out under that paper clip. This is just some little hearts that I um, cut out and just put together. Just, I think there's five or six here. Just Grandma would have done that. If she ran across those cute hearts, she would have just started collecting them. So this is another note from Grandma. To all those who come after me, to all those who come after me, I hope you will fall in love with life, and I hope you will pick flowers and read books, and I hope you will realize that life is so much more than you can ever uh, imagine it to be. I hope that you have best friends and make lots of good memories, and I hope you laugh a lot and, and laugh till your uh, uh, tummy hurts. And I hope you swim in the creeks and dig in the dirt and make a walk woodland paths and experience all the real things that are so important in life. And then that goes on and on. Everything goes on and on, whether I wrote it or somebody else wrote it. Me and somebody else, we are just, we make things too long sometimes. Well, let me just put that right there for now. Let's see what this says. This says... Never trust a mirror, for a mirror always lies. It makes you think that all your worth can be seen from the outside. Never trust a mirror. It only shows you what's skin deep. <laughs> you can't see what's, how your eyelids flutter when you're drifting off to sleep. It doesn't show you what the world... It doesn't show you what the world sees when you're only being you or how your eyes just light up when you're loving what you do. Uh... And that, of course, goes on and on. We cannot control the wind, but we can sure direct the sails. That's what that says. Okay. Uh, summer and fall. Today it still is summer. Tomorrow it will be fall. I see the purple asters and I hear the autumn's call. Um, that's just a real simple page, a real simple poem, old something Grandma would have kept if she ran across it. Um, 
Let's see what this says. There's a story behind every person and there's a reason why they're all the way they are and think about that before you judge someone else. Everybody we run into on any given day, uh, we're all carrying our own burdens. Nobody's got a perfect life. I don't care what they tell you. Nobody's life is perfect. And um, we all have uh, the world, the weight of the world on our shoulders. And, uh, you know, we need to think of that. Maybe somebody's cranky, your checker or whatever cashier is cranky at the store because maybe your husband left her before she went to work. Or maybe one of the kids is really sick and she's had to go to work because she has to help the family. And, you know, we just never know why somebody's in the mood they're in. Create the world you want to live in. Whoa. Okay. This, um, let's see, let's just untie this. This is a great grandma nursery rhyme book and grandma just put this together on her own. It's got some fabric. Every page is covered with fabric. Old woman who lived in a shoe. These are all nursery rhymes from just years and years and decades ago. Buttons and lace and fabric. One, two, buckle my shoe. Whoopsie daisy. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, wow. hush a -bye, baby. Wow. See, there's a little bit of, I'll go through all this and make sure there's no strings of glue or anything. But again, this is a homemade book. You might find something left in this book. This was not made at a, a book production company. It was made at the kitchen table. So, and um, I'm trying to be as careful as I can because I don't want to mess it up. Got some little um, burlap down through the middle and some little fabric. Um, Mary had uh, a little lamb. It's fleeced with white as snow. Little red riding hood. I just tried to tatter this little book up as much as I could and I thought it turned out really well. Uh, hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. Toot, toot. <laughs> Tom, Tom, the piper's son, stole a pig and away he run. Mistress Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? I love putting this little book together, and I may do some of these too and do just the books on their own. I'm going to just lay this aside right now because we're running behind. We're, oh my gosh, we're at 32 minutes. Okay, this is... um. Another little book that I put there. Just quite a few little books and tucks and things in this uh, uh, big book. So um, this is just covered with fabric uh, to make to look very distressed. Uh, new views of an old world living now. I bought this old, old book that was written in 1916. I bought it at a yard sale. And it was just full of things this person had written in it. And uh, they highlighted almost every line. So what good did the highlight do? But... Every page is like that, and it, it just, I love that book. Um, this says, let's just read a little bit of it. Live every minute as it comes, just as though it were the only minute you had on earth. Let it be filled with love and joy and harmony and courage and faith and all that you hope to enjoy sometime in the future. Too many of us are putting off good from day to day and from month to month and from year to year. And you know, when we do that, we're always going to do something tomorrow. I'm the world's worst about doing that. Um, I'm always going to do something tomorrow. I've told you all a dozen times I'm posting this video tonight, but then I think of something else I wanted to put in it. Or I think, you know, I think I need, I want to do that page different or whatever. And so here we are finally. Don't quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, and when that road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, Rest if you must, but don't you quit. I'll put that uh, page back in there in a minute. Let's hurry on. Okay, this is just a, a reading. Uh, it says, I wish you the courage to be... To be... <laughs> Weary when the world would prefer that you be cool. Or be warm when the wor world would prefer that you be cool. I wish you success sufficient to your needs, and I wish you failure to temper that success. I wish you joy in all your days, and that goes on and on. And this is just God grant me the serenity. We've all seen that. I've just put some kind of patchwork um, newspaper around here and some patchwork down here. There's another one of these buttons. I don't know where I got that, but I love that button. Have a little key up there. 
I love this page, and I put this uh, smaller page in here to kind of give it more character because these two, these three here go together. But Grandma's Pearls of Wisdom. I've traveled paths you've yet to walk, learn lessons old and new, and now this wisdom of my life I'm blessed to share with you. Let kindness spread like sunshine and embrace those who are sad. Respect their dignity and give them joy and leave them feeling glad. And that, that goes on and on. I could read it, but I just love that. Love, love, love that. Uh, this is a... Uh, once upon a time, you trusted yourself, and it says to stand in front of a mirror and look in the mirror and remember back when you were 10 years old, who was your favorite friend? What was your favorite class in school? Who was your favorite teacher? What was your favorite toy back then? And what did you do in your spare time? What kind of hobbies did you have? And that's just a good thing for all of us. Here's another thing about from Grandma, just a note from Grandma. I put several notes from Grandma in here. Listen, child, your home should be your sanctuary, a place of warm and cozy, a place where you can escape from the wild and crazy world to a place of peace and tranquility. Let order surround your inside, uh, you surround you the, in the inside walls of that sanctuary and always, always let love and laughter fill the air. Um, that's one thing, you know, I've been busy with this book, but I don't let the house go. And uh, now I, the kitchen table is a mess, but all the time because this is on here when I've got one going. <clears throat> but I keep up the cooking and I keep up the housekeeping and I follow Geezer around and help him with anything he needs help with. And um, the book uh, is a long way down my priority list. I love, love, love doing them, but uh, I don't let it take the place of anything important. Okay, I'd, I'd rather live in a little house in the woods than in the grandest mansion because it isn't the size of the place you dwell. It's the size of your heart's expansion. Love that. Plant your own garden instead of waiting for someone to buy you flowers. Mm, mm, mm. Is that good advice? Now we're coming to the end. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, this is uh, covered with fabric. has some burlap down here and some old lace. I uh, found this on Pinterest, and it said, The contents of this journal are intended for the audience, for an audience of one, me. I plan to use this book as a place where I can make mistakes. I can decide what works and what doesn't. I can experiment. I can have fun. I can copy someone else's technique for the purpose of learning. And that goes on and on. Doesn't everything go on and on? And this says, When you rise in the morning, think what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, and to love. Nothing, nothing, nothing is more important in this world than to love one another. Take time for your families. Uh, take time to talk. Listen. Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's a, We need to do a video on that. I just feel like that's coming. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's the book. That's the back. It's just a, it's a very grungy, very full. Um, oh, my goodness. I don't even know how to uh, do it so you can really see um, there is just so much here. Uh, so we're starting the bid at um, 139 125 for the book. And uh, the, it's going to have to go in the $14 shipping box. So I've added that on. So whatever anybody bids from here on out, if anybody does, <laughs> the shipping will be included in that price. We're not adding $14 on at the end when the book is, uh, the bids are done. I was going to do it for 24 hours, but I believe I'm going to do it for uh, 48 because we have storms moving in tomorrow. And when we have storms, look at that. I just love that. And when we have storms, uh, I sometimes lose internet, so I don't want somebody trying to bid or trying to get a hold of me, and you can't. You can send me a private message on Facebook, Kay Comer. Uh, follow me on Facebook, but I'll be checking the in, the uh, other box on there in case a, a message goes in there. Uh, I have a Facebook page, Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. Um, type that into your, brow, your Facebook uh, search bar up there. Um, Click to join that group and come along with us, and you can post your uh, message there or your bid there if you want to bid. Um, it's just absolutely full. It is really full. I just didn't know what. I hate to do a bid, but I didn't know what to put on it. Uh, so many hours. I have no idea how many hours I have in this, and there's so many little books and things inside. So uh, uh, I think that's pretty much it, I hope. Uh Everything will be below. My Facebook page, the link. Uh, yeah, I hope it's clickable. I don't have, Kim's not going to be able to help me. She's uh, uh, going to be working. But um, 
I hope it's clickable. Uh, but if it's not, just uh, put it, you know, put it in there. You know how to do that. And find me, Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. My Facebook page is Kay Comer. I invite you to click there. I do a, a daily journal on my page, two or three days or four a week sometimes. Just tell stories and all kind of stuff. We do all kind of fun stuff on my page. It's not for gossip. It is for... Um, uh, just spreading love and kindness. That's really what it's for. And uh, just stories to lift everybody up. Nothing mushy-gooshy too much. Uh, uh, some of it's fun. Um, you know, whatever. I make citizens arrest things like that. So you'll get those stories. <laughs> But anyway, that's it. Um, thank you all for your patience and waiting on this book. I am so, so sorry it took me so long. But um, I'm going to try to have some small books. Now, I'm going to try to keep them small down in the really a small range, maybe where it can even go in an envelope. Some little books that if you're just getting one, you can put it in an envelope, and uh, or I can put it in an envelope and mail it to you. And uh, you can put it in a gift bag or whatever you want to do. Um, but I'll try to have those uh, going just right away. Uh, thank you all for your patience. I appreciate it so much. And I love you all. Thank you.